Well, it's hard to believe, but we are now less than three weeks away from the start of basketball. Yeah, I recently caught up with UK assistant Joel Justice to talk about how his team is looking and how he can be a little bit younger looking. So, Coach, uh, Cal announced some changes, not new staff members this time, but kind of where you all are going to fit. And he's really kind of drilling down into specific roles now for his staff. Yeah, I think you always have seen that in Cal's tenure here that, that he's always trying to be ahead of the game. And I think he's always trying to get the best out of his players. I think he's trying to challenge them to, to be better. But I also think he does that with our staff. Um, you know, this is my seventh season here. Um, and everything has been a little bit different each year. There's been a great group of, of people, first of all, that, that he assembles around him. I think you've had Kenny Payne, you've had um, Barry Rorson, Slice, you've had John Robick, you've had Tony Barbie, you've had myself. Uh, Chris Willard, and now you add in Bruiser, you add in Jay, mm -hmm. um, but we have, you know, a, a tremendous support group from from Monica Fowler, our our nutritionist, you know, Rob Harris, you know, who does all of our strength and conditioning, Jeff Staten, who is was with the Phoenix Suns before he was with us last year, uh, and and then obviously losing Dwayne Peavy this summer. Uh, Cal is always challenging the people that work under him or with him, however you want to look at it. Um, to be better. You can tell that his mind was trying to get to a different place, you know, with, with our staff. And uh, it's, it's exciting time, but it, but it always is at this time of year. So I think, you know, you've seen Cal through practice through those seven years. I think Jay Lucas said the other day, though, that may, after watching how he conducts his practice, maybe he doesn't get enough credit for actually being a good basketball coach and not just a recruiter. You know, it took me probably about the same amount of time that it took Jay to figure that out. We were had we had a conversation over lunch about that the other day. You know, just how you know relentless Cal is um, with our team in terms of trying to get them individually to be their best, and that, that's something that uh, coaches sometimes lose sight of. You know, is, is they're always worried about. Uh, their team and they're not worried about individuals. Cal's always been about individuals and if individuals get better, the team gets better. Uh, and as a young coach, I, I still think that I'm young, I guess, and, and learning uh, that I, I, I saw that early, you know, when I got here uh, during the 14-15 season and it was something that you always had kind of seen from afar um, and then to, to live it every day uh, and then to have lived it for the last six seasons, uh, it makes you understand how really talented and special uh, Coach Cal is. And, and that's something that he does on the floor as well as off the floor. You know, and I think as you've seen his um, teams grow, people have grown, uh, young men turn into men. Uh, and I think that's why uh, you see so many of the guys come back. You see them uh, be engaged with Cal even after they're gone and, and have such a connection to the University of Kentucky and, and, and the city of Lexington. Listen, as long as you keep making the under 40 lists, you're still young. That's, I mean, that, <laughs> that's, I don't know. I feel like I'm the oldest 38 year old that, that, that's out there right now, so, but, but I don't know. I, um, I, I start looking, I start to see wrinkles. I start to see, you know, all this. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm starting to, starting to feel it, I guess, you know. Pro tip, Botox. Anyways, I, I, heard. I, I feel like that's on a Christmas list of, of someone's around here. I, I don't think it's mine. Yet, but I do feel like I've seen that floating around. That and Golden Goose tennis shoes. I, I don't know which is which is the one that I'm going to have to uh, go after first. <laughs> well, speaking of individuals, by the way, I do want to kind of pick your brain about Isaiah Jackson. I feel like he's not a guy that we've talked a ton about, but then we hear that he's just a monster in practice. With all of our guys, you know, they come in and, you know, you have this collection of talent for the first time for many of them, um, where they're playing with other really good players. And it's always fun to see guys, and Isaiah is definitely one of them. And, and we have other guys in the gym as well that, you know, when the competition picks up, you know, their level raises. And that's always fun to, to see guys. And, and then it's always cool to see guys figure it out later in the season as well. You have different periods where guys, figure it out. And, and I was having a conversation with Devin Askew about this the other day is, 
the game doesn't necessarily slow down. You just speed up, you know, and that is uh, something that young folks, freshmen, uh, figure out when they get to college. And, and we go back to, you know, Cal, that is something that he is so good at and he's so gifted at is, is pushing our young guys and challenging them and putting them in situations to where they're either going to succeed and okay, now we can push them even further or we fail fast, you know, and, and you've heard Cal say that is, you know, my job is to make you comfortable being uncomfortable. Well, then there's no failures on whatever. We're learning lessons at this point. Um, and Isaiah is a guy that, that has been a, a big surprise uh, for us as well. And that his motor, his energy, how hard he practices, uh, his approach, but also just his feel, you know, for a, for a guy that has size to be able to pass, to be able to catch, to be able to see the play before the play. I'm sure we all would love to take credit for that as coaches, but sometimes that's, that ain't something that you can teach. Coach Justice, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it as always. All right, fantastic. Go Cats.